Does the word incorrigible mean anything to you? Now, now, dear, the boys are just high. Spirited, that's all. Exactly why a year away at college is what they need. We'll teach them respect, responsibility, maturity. <laughs> Squid physic! Get in here! That wasn't my fault. Yes, it was. You threw it. You missed it. I wasn't even playing with you. Are you both packed? No, but our clothes are. <laughs> thank you. Be sure to tip your waitresses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be Don't sure to humor them. Do you boys have any idea what it took to get you into Cambridge University? Gee, refresh our memory, Dad. Yeah, it's been 20 minutes since the last time you told us. All right, that's it. Get your bags and get out. And I want you to call me every week with a scholastic progress report. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, do you boys have everything you need? Uh, we need, uh, money. Money? I gave you enough to live on for a whole year. Let's rephrase that, Dad, shall we? There's a difference, albeit subtle, between living and staying alive. After all, mere sustenance does not necessarily nourish our greater educational requirements. What are you driving at? We need money for bimbos, Dad. Lots of money. Plenty of money. Bimbos. Go already! Go on, get out of here! Oh, Gonna miss you, Mom. Mom. Oh, I <laughs> uh, we'll call you when we get to England, Dad. Son. Okay. Good. And son. There, 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 there. They're not my babies anymore. Well, I only hope they can keep their identity secret on Earth. Remember what happened to those Petulus girls? Yes. Do they ever get paid for that exclusive in the National Tipster magazine? Sure, but they were never heard from again. My poor boys. Overfeeding! It's a bailer! Oh, hey, he's scared! Microwave bikini! Got a red Corvette! On a Technicolor freeway! Playing road roulette! Looking for a change of scene! Hey, hey. forget to remind me to make a left at the next black hole because there isn't another space walk for at least a light year. Okie dokie. Now, Bo, this is a rare opportunity for us. A chance to prove we can make it in a world filled with conflict and adversity. A chance to make our marks on the universe. Good idea. We'll become rock stars. Why the heck not? Ain't no reason. On Earth, siblings make very successful musical teams. The Everly Brothers, for instance. The Doobie Brothers. The Isley Brothers. The Allman Brothers. The Lennon Sisters. The Lennon Sisters. The Lennons. The Lennon Sisters. Abe, obviously, while I have been studying transmissions of MTV, you have been watching The Lawrence Welk Show. You're out of the band. You're fired. I'm going on a solo stadium tour. You can have the nostalgia circuit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's get real here. Now we're going to a very hostile planet. Okay? We should keep a low profile. If they find out we're aliens, our lives can be in serious jeopardy. Now remember that. Okay. Anyway, we should... We should make our mark so some other way. Aspire for loftier goals. Like meeting millions of girls we've never met before. Cut that out, will ya? I'm sorry, Earth girls just turned me on. You know what I mean. You have no consideration for our interactive feelings. Whenever you read that, that smut magazine, I always get turned on, even when I don't want to. You know, Earthlings do it right. When they engage in a pleasure activity, they get to feel the pleasure. That's true. They also get to experience the pain. Ow! I hate it when you do that. Where did you get this magazine anyway? Crouton Public Library, Interplanetary Affairs section. Why can't you just stick to National Geographic like everybody else? See, that's the difference between us, Abe. You want women with spears, I want women with these. Hello? 
This magazine is six months overdue and wrinkled beyond repair, I might add. That's cute. That's very cute. You pull that kind of cheap party stunt on Earth, and we'll end up dissected and pickled like the Petula sisters. Come on, Bo. If you stay in there for 20 more seconds, you'll get stuck in that picture for 10 hours. I can I think, think of, of worse places, places to be stuck, stuck for 10 hours. I'm warning you. How duty. How many times has mom told you? If she's told you once, she's told you a thousand times. You keep playing around with an animate projection, and one day you'll stay that way. No, no, she told us not to play basketball in the house. No, that was the Brady Bunch episode with Bobby. He broke the lamp with the basketball. No, Greg broke the lamp with no, the basketball. No, I, I remember it specifically because he had the nightmares, but Mom always said, don't play ball in the house, Mom. Right. Don't play ball. Who played Alice? Definitely UFO. It's emitting high levels of radiation. It should reach Earth by... Tomorrow morning. All right, track it. I want the landing coordinates as soon as you can get them. Wilson, I'm willing to bet my pension that this is another crouton spacecraft. And how do you propose we find them, Colonel Barker? Simple. We just follow the reports of unusual behavior. Uh -huh. People make odd noises. Oh. People who turn into inanimate objects. Uh -huh. yeah, it's the same bizarre stuff that got us the Petula's girl. Gotcha. By the way, did those girls ever get paid by the National Tipster magazine? Yep. A lot good will do them where they are now. <laughs> hey, what happened? We've lost the signal, sir. I'd say you're taking this mission to heart, sir. You better believe it. You ever hear of the red herring scandal? Sure. Some nut at the Pentagon thought the Ruskies were poisoning Lake Michigan, so he ordered a naval blockade. <laughs> the fish were dying. I saw it with my own eyes. You, sir? I'm the uh, victim of politics, Wilson. Yes. Disgraced. Sent to the bottom of the military barrel. Extraterrestrial investigations. Hey, but there he was, sir. These aliens are up to no good. And I am not about to miss a golden opportunity by handing these alien slime balls over to these egghead scientists until I find out exactly what they are up to. 24 hours is all I want with these crouton creeps. 24 hours. I'd say you've got yourself a ticket back to the Pentagon, sir. Right to the top. And I won't forget who helped me there. You can count on it, Wilson. Okay, Bo, what do you say we set the automatic landing device? I say okie dokie. <clears throat> now, are we still going to Europe? That's right, England. Cambridge. Musty old section of England. Often difficult to see through dense layer of constant chilly fog. The seat of European knowledge where renowned scholars gather for intellectual discourse. Yes, that's the place. Dad sure knows how to pick them, huh? Would you look at this place? It's right before Cambridge on the Intergalactic Travel Guide. California. Sun, sand, surf, and beautiful weather. Home of the sexual revolution where bikini-clad women engage in every form of self-indulgence. Mm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. No, absolutely not. You know the deal. We promised Dad that we'd go to Cambridge. You'd seriously take somber and musty over sunny and lusty. What about our education? Well, from the sound of this Cambridge place, it's been mildewing for centuries. I say, Abe, let's learn from the living. I'm, what about Dad? He's 6.5 light years in the rearview mirror. I know, but I can still see him back there. Okay, okay, listen. We will go to California. We'll check it out. We'll meet a few babes, have a few laughs, and then we can go to Cambridge and wallow in the dense, constant, chilly fog. I don't know. It's not a good idea. We promised Tammy lives in Malibu where she enjoys volleyball, Matt, dancing, Matt, and nude sunbathing. Hi. Hi, Tammy. Hi, hello, how are you? Hi, hello, how are you? We're getting close to California now. You better run the landing check. Good thinking, babe. That's Abe. Okay, sunscreen, check. High tops, check. Sushi can knife, check. Aruni. I meant to check out the ship, you moron. Do you realize how fast we're going? Did you raise the heat shield yet? Do you know? We are in Earth's atmosphere. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, no. Abe, Abe, we're going down. We're going down. That's okay, just hold on. Put on the force field and hold on.
You're happy both. I've been happier, Abe. We didn't lose the sunscreen, did we? No, that's uh, around here. Oh, here, there. Oh, oh, good, good. No damage to the skateboard, I hope? No, that seems to be all right. Fine, it's, that's warmed the cockles of my heart. Mm. Could you do me a favor there, Bo? I, I would, brother of mine. Could you hand me one of those good-looking sneakers? How about, uh, hi. this one? Oh, th yeah, this one's fine. This one will so Oh, good. Uh, yeah. You idiot, you moron! You hair on the bar is so polite! Ow! Salvageable? What do you think? Well, maybe, maybe we can fix it. Oh, well, of course we can. We'll go to the local spaceship repair shop right around the corner. Not even. Yeah, there's Ulick Eichelberry right there. He's waiting to fix our ship. Say hi, Ulick. Hi. Hey, Abe, there's no need for sarcasm. There's no need for you to be sarcastic, Bo. You don't have you for a lame brain brother. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Okay. Ready? Go. Go. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Sun, surf, white sandy beaches. Look! Over there behind that old Buick. It's Tammy, nude sunbathing. Okay, so it's not paradise. This place makes hell look like a vacation resort. Well, California can't be all bad. Dog. Did you stop that? You sound like a typical alien. You're right. Yo, say, doggy man, what's happening, man? You looking really good. I was under the impression that Earth dogs were loyal, helpful, and friendly. You know, like Lassie, Rin Tin Tin, and Benji. Got an idea. So, remember the episode when Timmy fell down the well and Lassie stop. went to go just, get help? Just forget about Lassie. We got Cujo here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try mind speaking with him. <clears throat> so, so what's going on? Yeah, I understand completely. No problem. Nice work. What was his problem? Frustrated pooch. I told him we'd be back with a poodle and a bowl of champagne. Oh, that's nice. That's just great. Doc is going to get lucky and we're going to be dead when Dad finds out what we did. Dad never has to know. Here's what we do. We take some of the communications gear from the ship, load it onto one of these junk cars. We drive across America, learn from our experiences, fulfill our schooling, plus some of the more pleasurable experiences of the real world. Here's the best part. We report home right from the car. At the end of the year, we go to England. We call Dad. We say, Dad, somebody stole the saucer. Insurance pays for it. He swoops down, picks us up. Nobody will be the wiser. It's so incredibly stupid, it just might work. You really think it'll work? I think there's a really good possibility if we keep our identities an absolute secret. All right, good thinking. Okay. Let, let's get out of here. Bye. We need some transportation. Transportation? You mean like vehicle? A vehicle. Carriage. Yes. Major carriage. What about uh, what about that vet right there? Yes. Good thinking, Abe Lincoln. Thank you, my brother. How about a little object transference? What do we need first? Do we need... Mr. Engine. Mr. Engine. There. Oh, ready? Yeah. Hey. Headlights. Headlights.
हुड मैन हुड I got an A in metal shop. Start the car, Bowen. Let's get out of here. Well, it runs okay, but it looks like hell. No problem, Bob. California. Let's roll. 